not re I mean, the front guys, yeah, I didn't really make too many passes. I was able to stay with people, though. Like, I stayed with them really well. I just couldn't really set up enough of a run down the straightaway to pass anybody. A lot of times, it's a car in front would have a draft, too, and... Yeah. Oh yeah, it was certainly possible. I just, in as many games. I mean, that was the Ryan first uh, first time I've run Indy in an Indy car in a long time. Should be a great night for a ball game. And now here's tonight's. The setup was really good, though. I, I, I think it. I, I definitely felt like I could pass. Welcome to an American League game that features the Boston Red Sox and the Cleveland Indians. I think some of it was just me. Is like, it's hard to. For, it was hard for me to really judge sometimes like how close I was to a guy and how much air I was going to lose because like if you were as like eight tenths behind him you were losing the nose but if you were like a second to 1.1 behind him you didn't really lose the nose that could keep it planted so there were some corners where I maybe lifted too much just trying not to lose the nose and go into the wall because especially in turn one if I lost the nose really bad and didn't lift immediately it, yeah there was no no keeping it out of the wall. Even though he hits left handed, he still enjoys success against South Paul pitching. He got a strike upstairs. He's pitched 79 innings this season, and batters have had good success against him with an average of 294. That's a three pitch strikeout. Three pitches, three strikes, then get easier net partner. I like the I like the running the road courses because I like road courses in these cars, but I also like that there's no cautions. So I can just go into a race and say, Okay, I'm pitting on this lap and I don't have to worry so much about strategy. On the ground. Sabathia retires the side in order. Here's the manager's lineup. Yeah. Okay, 40 laps, go balls to the wall, and on the hill for the hit on lap 20, and do it again. Well, side effect of that is when people crash, and there's no caution, and you gotta stop to miss them. It's... you lose a ton of time. Miller delivers out of the zone and it's one and two. Strike three, he got him. Partner, he gets ahead of him and never looks back. Sweet strikeout. Up next, Travis Hefner. Got him to pop it up. He puts it away in foul territory. This guy is great at getting the bat on the ball. That's strike one. He's the kind of guy managers just love. He's pitching the relievers usually get the night off. And on three pitches, he's gone. After one, no score here. You see the Pirates and Cubs play from yesterday? Strike called at the bell. He showed well, you remember the play I had where I had that RBI strikeout double? Liner right at the third baseman. Yeah, apparently they took inspiration. Jackson will hit next. 
and a strike in its own one. And now he falls behind, nothing in two. There's a line drive. He reaches with a one out single. He did a great job of short up there with two strikes and getting hit. Gentlemen, please keep your eyes on the action at all times. Baseball's hit into the stands and be 
Congratulations. Oh. Well, it's a worthwhile purchase. Inside one and His number one pitch is his fastball. There's a strike. Yes, they are part of the value menu. Lifts one to left. And he puts it away for the out. Yes, as in you pay for it. Get a nice pitch there to get the fly ball. Nice work. Left field. Berkman makes his way to the plate. And there's a strike. Fastball for a strike. He strikes out about eight for nine innings. A pretty impressive total. Puts it away for the out. Hey, that's a great play on a very tough line drive. That's one of the toughest balls in baseball to judge. So they got one base hit, but <laughs> what? With it. Yes, he was voted to his 54th consecutive All-Star game. Uh, I don't know. There's strike one. <laughs> oh God! It's like you've seen the commercials where he's at. At the Olympics or something, <sighs> and he runs over those ski ears. Well, he probably looked that way too. Uh, yeah, you know where we're going with that. I CNN didn't show that in their clips of why Tony Stewart murdered a man. Look at this: the 2004 Salt Lake Olympics. He ran over his ears. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. And on three pitches, he's gone. Hey, the pitcher wins the battle. Yeah. Sweet pitch to get the keg. You don't know nothing. Yeah, and then everybody just ducks ass for the rest of the season. Well, no, I mean, everybody around him started sucking because that was like the championship nobody wanted to win. Jimmy Johnson and Mark Martin are out there crashing each other on pace laps. on fenders and then shattered his spine hard to believe that Jeff Gordon raced as long as he did after 2001 and didn't win a championship yes Jimmy Johnson That's probably like the late 90s. Be sure to catch our upcoming car flag giveaway. Sponsored by Pure Walls, the Order of the City. 
Yeah. I think he would have been retired by then. Five pitches in his repertoire. Strike. He's tallied four wins and four losses on the season. Fly ball hit deep to center field. Damon puts it away. Got a good jump on the ball for that. Gillis strolls to the plate. On the ground, cuts it off. That'll do it for the Indians in the second inning. After two, the game is scoreless. Here's the first batter of the inning, Manny Ramirez. Strike one. He's registered three wins and six losses so far. The 0-2. He goes out to right. The catch is made. Kai, he didn't get all that ball. The fielder strolled over. It's not under and he's a play. One down. Sabathia delivers a fastball out of the zone. He tried to get the batter to chase a fastball right out of the zone. Painted the outside corner for a strike. Hit to left field. He's got it. This guy has a great approach to hitting, and that makes him just a pretty special hitter. He misses the zone with a 97 mile an hour fastball. This guy looks like Andre the Giant out there in the mound. When he releases the ball, he's right on top of the hitter. And it's grounded up the middle. He's on with a two-out single. The pitcher failed to execute on that pitch, and the ball ended up fatter than a Thanksgiving turkey, and the batter ate it up. Kipe, pass the mashed potatoes, big boy. This dude has a bevy of pitches in his arsenal. Oh boy. It'll be something. Oh god. I hope not. Well, we get an extra week this season, so it'll be seven and six or seven and eight or eight and seven. He showed excellent command with that pitch to strike right on the edge of the zone. Oh, you think your league's immune? Oh, you're not extending the season? Oh. Oh, yeah, because you're, you're... Yeah, because your playoffs are around longer. No, ours... ours... Yeah, ours have the buys now. I expanded the playoffs to six because we had so many new people play last year. Christ. 
No, I think you were... Yeah, you made the playoffs. You had, like, the best team. Where's, where's my league? We gotta react, re, re, reactivate the league. But it's got an email. It's the other way out to right. He makes the play. Uh. Oh, I want last season. I don't want this season. Zero, 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 zero. There we go. Season. <laughs> yeah, the league's t <laughs> okay. With the o one pitch. Uh and two count. Sweet Word. pitch right there, part Playoffs round one. Right for a call yeah, so and on three pitches, he's gone. Yeah, you had a buy in round one. Three, the game is and it was you and the in the Q Gardens were the nine and four. And I just obliterated JB in the first round, and then the second round, I beat you by five, and that was the game that Alex beat Mike for the West Conference Final, when uh, Mahomes took a kneel down and he lost a point. Then the championship game, I lost by five because Corey Davis is a bum. It's okay. You put up 144 points that week. Ooh, that was five in a hurry for strike three. Hitting left -handers is I think, oh, didn't you have... Oh, yeah, Brady put up 41. Adams put up 36. Oh, yeah, and then Stefan Diggs. Fuck Stefan Diggs. I don't want to talk about him. Oh, no, I don't want to talk about him because I was up by, like, 25. This right -hand Could have had double championships, but instead I lost both. But God damn it. And a swing. Swing and a miss. He's hitting 248 with five home runs and 40 runs batted in. Outside, one ball and one strike. The Canucks. They check down at first. Alex. Ron Abraham's lobster. And it's now two and two. <laughs> the home plate ump asked for help at first. That's five strikeouts. After three and a half, no score here. The top of the order will be up yeah, Richmond in the IndyCar next season is going to be interesting. How slow do you go in the corners? I'm having to lift a ton. At Richmond? Iowa, maybe. Sometimes you try to make a hit and chase your pace. That's exactly what you saw right there. Two balls, two strikes. A liner. Yeah, we're running a bunch of short ovals next season. He reaches with a Gateway, Pocono, Iowa, Michigan, Richmond. Next up to play, Charlotte. They only ran like one oval that was under a mile and a half this season. He's there safe at first.
Here comes the first pitch of the at bat. Fastball misses low for a ball. It's like really dark in here. He sends a fly to shallow center field. He's around third. That's the first run of today's game. Captain okay, Hunter did well there to score from second on that sink. That kind of hustle wins your ball games. Right here could be a good time to start the runner. One and two, the count. He strikes out swinging. Partner, he gets ahead of him and never looks back. Sweet strikeout. Ryan steps into the batter's box. Taken for a ball. Catch is made by the right fielder. The runner scores on the sacrifice fly. To me, that's a successful at bat. As a batter, anytime you can drive in a run, you've done your job. Gillis steps in at the plate. And here's the delivery. This is a good time to stand the run. Let's see if the skipper agrees. Ball. Pitch taken for a ball. One ball, two strikes. Ball. Taken for a ball. They appeal the first on the check swing. He's off to second. Anderson comes to the play. Hey, this guy at the play can flat out fly. You better go right after him because you don't want to put him on for free. He goes with the pitch and hits a fly ball to right. That'll do it for the Indians in the fourth inning. Stepping in, Johnny Damon. First pitch. Takes a pitch just off the plate, 1 0. Here's the pitch. Takes low. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. A four pitch walk. Next up, Lance Berkman. It's a constant struggle for this batter when he faces off against left handed pitching. Infield's got to think about playing a double play depth right now. That's a ground ball hit to the second baseman. Hard slide into second. Wow, that base one was all over him on that play. The shortstop stayed right in there and turned the pair. Up next, Manny Ramirez. Two outs and nobody on. Pitch taken for a ball. for a ball. Wow, that curve wasn't even close. The batter easily took it for a ball. Pitch taken for a ball. 
Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Ball four. Now, I thought he was nibbling too much, and the umpire wasn't giving him a whole lot either. The next batter is David Ortiz. This lefty's average is just plain ordinary. Out of the zone, that's a ball. The count's two and one. That'll be a base hit. He's on first with a base hit. That was good execution right there. That could really build the momentum in their favor. Okay, the scouting report tells me that that runner will not be rounding third on a hit to right field. That guy out there has got one of the best arms in the league. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your picks. That's exactly what you saw right there. It's fair. He's rounding third. A run scores. That's an RBI double. Dirksen came through big time right there. Now, the skipper's got to love that. You drive in one run, and you set your team up to score another. Okay, this team really needs a big hit from this guy right here. Outside. One ball and one strike. Two balls and one strike. Three and one. He walks him with two outs. Next at the plate, Miguel Cabrera. Line drive hit back up the middle. A run crosses the plate. A two RBI single. Hey, partner, nice base running right there to score from second on the single. A strike with the changeup. He's going back at the track, the wall. It's out of here. Oh, he nuts this one. Hit it over 400 feet. The Indians have activated the bullpen. The bullpen isn't quite ready, so the manager's at the mound to give them some more time. Sometimes a trip to the mound will do nothing but get the pitcher thinking too much, which usually means trouble. That one's foul, but it should stay in play. That'll do it as we go to the bottom of the inning. Going into the bottom of the fifth, the Red Sox lead by four. Sheets steps into the batter's box. I don't think he has his best stuff out there on the mountain. Hit to the right side. One out. Matos is up. to get to that ball and then a better job to reel it in with his glove for the out. Just watching this right hand hitter hit. It's like a clean every day. On the ground, he'll pick it up on a roll. Miller with a 1-2-3 inning. With five innings played, the score is 6-2. This game is brought to you by EA Sports. EA Sports, it's in the game. Here's a left-hander who hasn't quite figured out how to hit southpaw. He's batting 275 with three long balls and 24 runs batted in. Ball. 
Damon lays off inside for a ball. Three and one, a hitter's pitch. And he takes the walk. He just loses him in that bat. That's a free pass, and we'll see if it comes back to hurt him. Stepping in, Lance Berkman. Man on first with no outs. And another strike to make it 0 2. Double play situation. Pitcher's got to try and keep the ball down here to force the hitter to hit the ball on the ground. Pickoff throw. No swing. That was a close one there, partner, but I'd have to say that he went. He swung through it for strike three. The Indians go to the bullpen. They're going to the pen. Next up, Manny Ramirez. The defense would be wise right here to move into double play depth. One two count. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your picks. That's exactly what you saw right there. He's not going to give up with two strikes. Hits a foul ball. That's fouled off the catcher. ball the Indians have someone throwing in their bullpen ball. pitch taken for a ball they're gonna have to do something out there some of these pitches ain't even close he hits it towards first they turn the double play now there's a great example of the defense picking you up. They turned a sweet double play right there. Going into the bottom of the six, the Red Sox. Stepping in one for two, Travis Hefner. That ball is driven deep, and you can forget it. Hey, Kike, there are not too many ballparks who would have held out. Pitch just off the plate, 1 0. The right fielder has a long way to go to catch this one. That's another base hit. He lined that ball right past the infield, and there was no doubt it was a base hit. Good bit of hit. First pitch. The runner goes hard into second. That's the third double play of the game for Cleveland. That base runner was all over him on that play, but the second baseman stayed right in there and turned the dudes. Hey, Kite, as a manager, you hate to see this guy come up. His speed makes him a constant threat. One ball, one strike. Hit to right field. That'll do it for the inning. Side retired. After six, the score is six to three. Up next with one single already, David Ortiz. Oh and one count. Two counts. The counts one and two. 
Looks like the pitcher and catcher have a strategy in mind. So far, the batters are taking these pitches. Down he goes on strikes. Hey, sometimes you make a good pitch, and that was one of them. Big strike out there for him. He swiped 36 bases. Nothing in two. Here's the pitch. There's a line drive. Dirksen is aboard with one out. Okay, that's what I like about this guy. He always gets it done. You ask him to get something done, boom, he delivers. The runner at first is going. Close play, and he's out. Oh, man, tough to steal against an arm like that. Here's the 1-0 delivery. That's a liner back through the middle. He's on his way to second. Mahomes is on with a double. And he does well to get extra bases here, partner. Up next, Miguel Cabrera. This guy is just a pure hitter. Center fielder's got a strong arm, so if it's hit to him, expect there to be a play on the play. Line drive with the other way. Hey, partner, it's time now for the seventh inning stretch. Didn't you sing recently in Regal Field? Oh, I sure did. When I was in the league, I could pitch in front of 50,000 people, but that was like throwing in my backyard. Singing to take me out to the ball game at Wrigley? I was scared to death. Hillis is next up. Miss low. Terrible pitch, way off the catcher's target. And the batter easily watched it go by. He goes with the pitch and hits a fly ball to right. He puts it away. Get a nice pitch there to get the fly ball. Nice work. Anderson gets ahead one ball and no strike. That one just missed. I mean, this guy can really get down the line. He's always a threat to lay down a front. Ball misses away. Four in a row out of the zone. 
blocks always seem to come around to hurt you. He falls behind the batter and just never gets back into the at-bat. Kite, this guy needs to bear down and throw strikes. You don't want to be walking people this late in the ballgame. Part of this would be a great time to lay one down and move that runner over. Ground ball to the left side. He's on with a single. Good play to move that runner to score position. There's more than just a few righty hitters who are superior against right-handed pitchers than this guy. He better couldn't check this swing. Taken for a ball. Yank to the left side. They got him. Cabrera made a nice throw right there. Straight and right on the target. delivers ball. pitch taken for a ball Miller sets for the 1 0 pitch ground ball pulled to the left side got him with two innings left the score is six to three. Takes the pitch to left. He squeezes it for the out. He tracked that ball very well off the bat. Camped on it. Made the easy play. Fastball misses in. Swing and a miss. Went too soon. Great pitch in the black. Would have been a call strike even if the batter didn't swing through it. Jackson sends it to left field. Makes the catch to record the out. Got a good jump on the ball at the back. Got underneath it. Made an easy play. A little strategy here. The righty will pinch hit against the left-hander. Here's the pinch hitter, Mike Lowell. He hits it up. He laid out and makes the grab. That'll do it for the Red Sox in the eighth inning. After seven and a half, the Indians trail by three. Bat with one home run, Travis Hefner. Bringing in a lefty to face the left-handed hitter is a good move partner because it creates a mismatch in the pitcher's favor. Batting 272 with seven long balls and 30 runs batted in. Pitchers ahead, one and two. 
Here's the pitch. Two and two, the count. Sometimes you try to make a hit and chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right here. He's hitting back to the dugout. Strike three. Hey, Kike, you know, every once in a while, you just got to reach back and come up with a good strikeout pitch. That's off the catcher. On the ground. They got him. Elfield, back up to you. He hits it towards oh. first. He crushes it. Cabrera caught it at the wall. Okay, if this dude did not bring his A game in, but A, in fairness, he can't be on all the time. The next batter is Lance Berkman. It's the last inning, and it's still anybody's ball game. Swings and misses. And on three pitches, he's gone. Hey, sometimes you make a good pitch, and that was one. Big strike out there for him. Hit to center field. The side is retired. The home team coming up next. After eight and a half, Boston leads by three. Bringing in a righty to face the right-handed hitter is a good move, partner, because it creates a mismatch in the pitcher's favor. Here's the pitch. Strikes. Hey, Kai, you know, he wants the white. He just got to reach back and come up with a good strike. Right Strikeout. The pitcher made him look silly. With this guy hit, the infielder should be on their toes. This guy's got some great wheels. That was a perfect pitch, partner. Right on the edge of the strike zone. The batter swung right through it. Pitch missed inside. What a great way to end the game if you're on the pitcher's team. Miller picks up the win. Sabathia is the loser. Keith Fulk gets the save. The final score, the Boston Red Sox, six. Cleveland, three.